Hello, welcome back to another episode. So this episode's all about fear. You know, are you afraid of the right things? Some of us might be afraid of our past. You know, the fact that our past may catch up to us. People knew what I was really like in my past. They wouldn't like me or they would judge me. Some people are afraid of their present, you know, uh, can I find a job or a husband or a wife or a decent life now? Some people are afraid of the future. You know, where, what am I going to be like when I retire? Uh, you know, am I ever going to get married? Am I ever going to find a good job or make decent money? These are all legitimate fears. These are all part of the human condition. Some of us are afraid of God. And I remember the classic was, ah, if I trust in God, he's going to send me to the deepest, darkest jungles of Africa and just ruin my life. Or the big one is God will hurt us. If I trust him, he will let me down and hurt us. Philip Yancey wrote a book about that. He said uh, the book was called Disappointment with God. You know, are you going to be disappointed with God? Truth of the matter is, we will be disappointed in God if we don't have the same mindset as God. So fear, it's very legitimate to have fear, but what do we do about it? What does the Bible say about fear? How can I overcome this fear? Let's learn about fear together. Some verses about fear. Proverbs 3, 24 through 26. When you lie down, you will not be afraid. Yes, you will lie down and your sleep will be sweet. Don't be afraid of sudden fear, neither of the desolation of the wicked when it comes. For Yahweh will be your confidence and will keep your foot from being taken. 1 Peter 3, 13 through 14. Now who will harm you if you become imitators of that which is good? But even if you should suffer for righteousness sake, you are blessed. Don't fear what they fear, neither be troubled. Isaiah 54, 14. You will be established in righteousness. You will be far from oppression, for you will not be afraid, and far from terror, for it shall not come near you. Romans 8.15 For you didn't receive the spirit of bondage again to fear, but you received the spirit of adoption, by which we cry, Abba! Father. Hebrews 13, 6. So that with good courage we say, The Lord is my helper. I will not fear. What can man do to me? Psalm 118, 6 through 7. Yahweh is on my side. I will not be afraid. What can man do to me? Yahweh is on my side among those who help me. Therefore, I will look in triumph at those who hate me. Psalm 46, 1-3 God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore, we won't be afraid. Though the earth changes, though the mountains are shaken into the heart of the seas, though its waters roar and are troubled, though the mountains tremble with their swelling. Selah. Isaiah 51, 12 through 13. I, even I, am he who comforts you. Who are you? that you are afraid of man who shall die, and of the son of man who will be made as grass. Have you forgotten 
Yahweh your maker, who stretched out the heavens and laid the foundations of the earth? Do you live in fear continually all day because of the fury of the oppressor when he prepares to destroy? Where is the fury of the oppressor? Mark 4, 39-41 He awoke and rebuked the wind and said to the sea, Peace, be still. The wind ceased, and there was a great calm. He said to them, Why are you so afraid? How is it that you have no faith? They were greatly afraid and said to one another, Who then is this, that even the wind and the sea obey him? Luke twelve thirty one to 32 but seek God's kingdom, and all these things will be added to you. Don't be afraid, little flock, for it is your Father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. Isaiah forty-one, thirteen. For I, Yahweh your God, will hold your right hand, saying to you, Don't be afraid. I will help you. Proverbs one thirty three, But whoever listens to me will dwell securely and will be at ease without fear of harm. Matthew 10.28 Don't be afraid of those who kill the body but are not able to kill the soul. Rather, fear him who is able to destroy both soul and body in Gehenna. 2 Timothy 1.7 For God didn't give us a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and self-control. Proverbs 29.25 The fear of man proves to be a snare, but whoever puts his trust in Yahweh is kept safe. Psalm 91, 4 through 6. He will cover you with his feathers. Under his wings you will take refuge. His faithfulness is your shield and rampart. You shall not be afraid of the terror by night, nor of the arrows that flies by day, nor of the pestilence that walks in darkness, nor of the destruction that wastes at noonday. Isaiah 43, 1-2 But now Yahweh, who created you, Jacob, and he formed you, Israel, says, Don't be afraid, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by your name. You are mine. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. And through the rivers, they will not overflow you. When you walk through the fire, you will not be burned. A flame will not scorch you. John fourteen twenty seven. Peace I leave with you. My peace I give to you. Not as the world gives, I give to you. Don't let your heart be troubled, neither let it be fearful. Psalm 23, 4-5 Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup runs over. Psalm 27, 1 through 3. Yahweh is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? Yahweh is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? 
when evildoers came at me to eat up my flesh, even my adversaries and my foes. They stumbled and fell. Though an army should encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. The war should rise up against me. Even then, I will be confident. Romans 8, 35-39 Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Could oppression, or anguish, or persecution, or famine, or nakedness, or peril, or sword? Even as it is written, for your sake we are killed all day long. We were counted as sheep for the slaughter. No, in all these things we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. For I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor things present, nor things to come, nor powers, nor height, nor depth, nor any other created thing will be able to separate us from God's love, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. May God add blessing on the reading of his word. So what do we learn about fear? Well, let me just go through just a couple of quick ideas from these verses. Hebrews 13, 6, it says, The Lord is my helper. I will not fear. What can man do to me? And then it goes on to say, Have you forgotten Yahweh, your maker, who stretched out the heavens and laid the foundations of the earth? Do you live in fear continually all day? <laughs> so we forget who God is. If we're to believe in God, he's the creator. There's nothing that can stand up against him. In Isaiah 41, it says this, I, Yahweh, your God, will hold your right hand. Don't be afraid. I will help you. And in Isaiah 51, 12, I am he who comforts you. Who are you that you are afraid of man who shall die? You know, they can't hurt you. They're going to die. Proverbs 29 said, the fear of man proves to be a snare. Whoever puts his trust in Yahweh is kept safe. And the famous 23rd Psalm, even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. And then Psalm 118 kind of bookends, Yahweh is on my side. I will not be afraid. What can man do to me? So a lot of our fears come from disbelief. We really don't believe that God is who he said he was. So here's our modern expression. No rest for the wicked. Those who do wrong things will have no peace or rest. And sometimes we use it as a joke to explain why we must go to work. Yeah, I got to go back to work. No rest for the wicked. It's said kind of like a joke. This comes from Isaiah 57, 21. There is no peace, says my God, for the wicked. <laughs> so could be a joke, could be serious. If you don't trust in God, if you practice wickedness, there will be no peace. No rest for the wicked. 